So ever since I started this YouTube channel, and more importantly, since I started doing a lot more behind the scenes content, taking you along for every time we go film something, the question I get asked most often is, what do we wear in our ears? What are the walkie talkies that we're using? Or what are we using them for in the first place? And why do we always use them? You see, it became pretty clear to me that a lot of people don't have great communication on a job, whether it's at a wedding, whether it's on a commercial production. A lot of small business owners, a lot of wedding videographers, a lot of people that are kind of new into this business don't realize how incredibly beneficial it is to have some form of communication on the job. Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, well we all have cell phones and I can text and I have an Apple watch and so I can text someone on there. That's all really great. The problem is all of those things take time and they take hoping that the person on the other side of the message actually gets it. And if you're someone like me who does a lot of wedding work, when you show up to a ceremony and you need to talk with your shooter about something or about position or about make sure you grab this shot or make sure you get this or I get this, there's a lot of communication that happens on a wedding day. There's a lot of communication that happens on a commercial shoot. You need something a little bit more reliable than a cell phone. So at 4LC Studios, we started using walkie-talkies since as early as I can remember when we started filming events because I was tired of trying to hope that during a wedding or another shoot that my second shooter or assistant or whoever I was working with I was tired of them not actually getting texts that I was trying to get to them, so I decided to go with walkie-talkies. The first model I went with was from a company called Midland. Midland has been around for a long time and they are basically the industry leader in terms of walkie-talkies. They have the most popular two-way radios in the world. And we started and have been using for the last about six to 12 months the Midland X Talker walkie talkie. This is a really nice small little radio as you can see, very, very small, works great. Really everything we were looking for over the last six to 12 months, but recently we decided to actually upgrade. So we actually upgraded to the Midland GXT1. The GXT-1000 is the most powerful two-way radio that you can buy from Midland, and we've been crazy impressed with it just over the short time we've already been using it. Like I said, coming from the X-Talker, we never had any issues with these walkie-talkies at all, except when we were in some of the bigger cities or some bigger areas where we just needed a stronger range. We never really have line of sight range in the type of work we're doing. We're never like out in the middle of nowhere where we have 30 miles worth of range. So even though these both say they can do over 30 miles of actual range, we know that that's not realistic for the type of environment that we work in. We work in a lot of big cities like Philadelphia, Philadelphia and New York City and Jersey and areas that we may be in the same location but maybe a half mile away might be really hard for radios to get to. So we wanted to upgrade to something that would give us a little bit stronger of a signal and just be even more reliable than these already were. So we contacted Midland and they told us to go with the GXT1000 and they have been phenomenal so far. So what we use that we really love and we've been using these since we started using the walkie talkies are basically the security style headset. I believe they call them their surveillance headsets, but they're the ones that look like you're in the CIA. And number one, they're super comfortable and you can wear them all day. I also like the fact that it kind of makes you look secret service because no one messes with you. It, it's just, it's pretty sweet. So we choose to use the surveillance headsets because they're really, really clean. They look nice. They look professional. None of these cables are ever exposed when we're actually on a job. We hide them in our shirt really cleanly. And we like the fact that this is just readily accessible. You can always hear somebody in your ear without anyone else hearing the conversation that you're having. And you can also just at the click of a button, just talk in the radio. Works really, really well. And it's just always there. Being able to be in their ear the entire time and not hoping that they hear me, but they actually can hear me is incredible. And one of the features we like about the GXT1000 is in the event that my second shooter or assistant takes this off, every once in a while someone will take it off, maybe they're having a conversation with somebody and it's just they want to kind of get it out of their ear or maybe they go to the bathroom and they just naturally take it out, whatever it is. There are times that our shooter has taken it off their ear and then kind of forgot that it was off their ear and then what would happen is I'd be calling them on the radio trying to get in touch with them and naturally they wouldn't have it in their ear so they couldn't hear it and that doesn't work for me very well. So the GXT1000 has what's called vibrate mode, which I love because if I press the call button on the other radio, this radio will actually vibrate on their belt pack. And then they would probably quickly realize, oh, I don't have my earpiece in. They'll put it in and then I can have a conversation with them. In terms of battery life, these last all day for us. So they come with rechargeable packs inside that you can recharge, which is no problem at all. We just charge them before any wedding or before any job that we're gonna do it. And we're usually on the job for 12 to 15 
15 hours and they last no problem. Now, if we were on a job for 15 hours and we were talking a ton on them all the time, the battery toward the end of the night sometimes will give a warning that we need to replace the batteries. The good thing about these is even though they have the rechargeable unit in them, if that goes dead, you can simply just pop off the back and put in AA batteries, which we have tons of rechargeable batteries for. So that's a great option. You're not limited to only being able to use the battery pack that comes with it, which is great. Now the X Talker, which is the other model that we used to use, actually has a better battery life because it's a bigger battery. It's also a lower power walkie talkie. So I believe it's two watts compared to five watts. So naturally the less wattage it uses, the longer it'll last. So these, we never had a battery issue whatsoever. They lasted all day, 15, 20 hours worth of time. No problem at all, but a little less power overall. If you don't think that that's a big issue for you, then these may be great, great option for you. The GXT1000 gives you way more channels than the actual X Talker. So you definitely don't have to ever worry about interference. You can change channels for days and never run out of available channels for it. So that's a big thing if you're in an area that is highly congested. If you do a lot of work in big cities, you obviously have to worry about a lot of other people with radios or whatever it is. If you're in a hotel, there's a lot of different radios. So having the extra channels on this is really, really good. One thing to note about the GXT1000, because a few of you have asked before, this is the most powerful two-way radio you can have by law. So whether you know it or not, there are actually certain licenses required for certain power in certain areas and different things like that. This requires no license whatsoever, and it is the most powerful that you can have by law, which is great to know because you may have not known that, but get the most powerful because why wouldn't you? But yeah, we've been using these walkie talkies for years and they are just incredibly convenient and it blows my mind how many people come up to me and ask what models we use or what we do with the walkie talkies in general and they've never used them before and they talk about the same thing all the time which is that oh it's always hard for me to get in touch with my shooter or oh we always use hand signals or we do text messages or we use our watch and Believe me, there's nothing that's more convenient than when someone's in your ear and at the press of a button, you instantly can talk to them. We recently had a shooter film a BTS for us for one of our weddings and they were blown away by how much communication happened throughout the day and it was all made possible because of these. I would not have texted that much, I wouldn't have called that much, but everything from where are you at now to where are you headed to have you set this up yet, have you set this up to in the middle of a ceremony saying can you lock down a shot, I need to move my shot and just being able to communicate is huge. You want to make sure that if you are doing video production, you are covering all your bases. And the best way to cover your bases is to make sure you know what your other shooter is doing. And having an assistant being able to be on the other side of these, just incredibly, incredibly convenient. So choose the walkie talkie that works best for you, whether you're choosing X Talker or the GXT1000. I think they'd both be really good for what you're looking for. If you don't mind spending a few extra dollars, get the GXT1000 because it's just a stronger radio. It is a little bit bigger. So if you're worried about a little bit extra bulk, you can see that the antenna is about double the length so it does stick up a little bit more from your belt pack but if that's not a huge issue I always like to go with the most powerful it just gives you just a peace of mind that it's going to work in any situation so thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful I will put links as always down below to exactly the models that I talked about the earpieces that I used all those things I highly highly suggest you get yourself a set of walkie talkies by yourself four like I do then you have one for your, you one for your second shooter and you always have two extra whether it's for an assistant or whether one goes dead on the day of or you drop one it breaks whatever it is just have extras it's good to have backup because once you get used to using them it really sucks if you don't